so we're in the DeLorean time machine and we are on our way to Best Buy to pick up the 35th anniversary Back to the Future trilogy in 4K. Long time coming. Uh, I'm excited to watch this for Back to the Future Day. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was it's amazing the amount of merchandise that's been coming out the last few years and especially for the 35th anniversary like none of this was available growing up in the 90s it was it was difficult to be a back to the future fan in the 90s or 80s for that matter um any toy you could possibly find like i had you know the back to the future playing cards which you treasured and some t-shirts and you know a couple cars nothing accurate nothing nothing amazing and you know actually like walking in target or walmart and and finding something that is uh back to the future in, in the wild it you know it was a it's a must that you have to buy it uh so now there, there's so much stuff you know the question is do you do you still follow that mentality and you have to buy it you know there's some questionable questionable um products coming out that's you know is it is it just uh you know trying to, to make money you know is the accuracy right there there or is it just like going so far and beyond of what's what is what makes a good back to the future product for someone you know some of these things like the funko toy that is um like radiation marty that got radiation poisoning it's going for like eight hundred dollars online. I've seen it for as high as like that's insane. I don't, I don't think that's even something that I want. Um, but you know the fact that it's so rare, limited edition, you know, makes fans kind of go crazy and, and purchase it. Um, right now, I'm getting the Steel Book, which I think is limited edition. There's only one left in stock at Best Buy right now. Here's our exit. Uh, it's a stage one exhaust. I'll, okay. I'll show. Damn, it's manual too? Yeah. Body panels, what are you made out of? Stainless steel. That's incredible. Yeah. How much did this all cost? Uh, this is a clean example too, dude. Look yeah, this. it was actually in a museum the seat prior to me buying it. That's insane, dude. Did you yeah. get the steel book? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 All right, back to the future pickup. What's going on, man? Oh, thank you. <laughs> long time. Yeah. Haven't seen DeLorean in like 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. The inside is just like the movie. Yeah, we're just checking it out. Yeah, the console. Cool. Like, dude. Yeah. Uh, outside will be done in a couple more months. Yeah. And it'll look just like the movie car. Nice. Yeah. Are you from around here? Yeah. 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 I'll keep my eye open for you. I live, yeah. I live around here too, so. Yeah. If you, if you see a DeLorean in King of Prussia, there's like. A 99 out of 100 chance that it's probably me. Yeah, probably you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. The best way to describe it is if you were a DeLorean time machine owner, you become an instant celebrity. Pretty much people come to talk to you, take pictures of you. Uh, sometimes run you off the highway um, you, you literally become a celebrity um, it's good though so I ended up getting the, um, the steel box set Oh, 
kind of cool. Couple other different shots in the movies. Great Scott. That's it. So I was thinking about this on the way back. I have the 2010 Blu-ray set. The, the first time I went on Blu-ray. And those will now never be watched again by me, obviously, because I have these. So, if, if somebody is not looking to um, get the 4K, maybe you don't have a 4K set, and you would like the Blu-ray set, comment below that, that you would like it, and I'll ship it to you for free, as long as you're a subscriber, of course.